Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is equity, par value and share premium, according to the IFRS. So guys, first of all, subscribe our channel, like our video, and like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpin. This is very important to us. And accounting for ordinary shares, issuing par value ordinary shares for cash. Par value does not indicate a shares market price. Cash proceeds from issuing par value shares may be equal to, greater than, or less than par value. Par value is just a legal value for the share. Issuance of ordinary shares for cash, that is the most common one. Credit, par value of shares to shares capital ordinary. Recording a separate account portion of proceeds that is above or, be or below par value. So how does it work? Let's go to our, oops, to our Excel file. This is our Excel file. Let me zoom it. Let's delete this guy here. So, Skype Incorporation sells 10 million of its ordinary shares, 1 euro par per share, for 10 euros per share. So, how do we do that? Cash. How much is the cash that Skype Incorporation receives? 10 million shares times 10 euros per share, 100 million euros. Share capital ordinary, it is the par value so it is one euro per share ten million times one ten million dollar ten million euros sorry and premium ordinary it is the number to balance our journal entry ninety million dollars if the shares not shares if the shares are no par no par value not common, but we can have it in some countries. Cash, 100. Share capital, ordinary, 100. So we have no share premium here. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.